Oh god, I hope you guys can't hear my heavy breathing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about the drastic change that I did to my brows. Kidding, of course I'm talking about my hair. So this video is gonna be all about my hair change. It's pretty drastic, it's pretty bold. I know I personally love it to death. I hope you guys like it and if you don't, that's all right. It's not on your head, it's on mine. So um, this video is going to be about the process that my hair went through and then just some products that I've been using to make my hair feel like hair again instead of feeling like a wig <laughs> because there were moments where I was where I was scared to death thinking that my hair was just not gonna be shiny anymore or anything like that now I know it doesn't look amazing right now but I haven't washed it in a day and a half almost two days now and also I'm gonna give you guys some tips um, on how you can do this at home now I personally don't recommend that you do this at home personally because I mean I'm not a professional so I can't tell you what you should or shouldn't do I'm not a hairstylist in by any means but um, I know the process that they did on my hair and I cannot imagine doing that at home do your research, see what you can do. Yes. Anyways, so I'm first gonna start off with the process of my personal hair. So if you guys had watched, been watching my videos, you guys knew that my hair was pretty much um, about the color of this side of my hair. So you guys can see it's like a huge change. And so I did my research before I even went into a salon and I found a product called Olaplex, which is something that I'll let you guys do more research on. But from my understanding, it's just a like additive that they add to the bleach that helps um, lighten your hair while still protecting your hair. Um, but again, you guys can do your own research. I'm not a professional, so I'm not exactly sure what it does. But I do swear by it now. Now that I've been, now that it's been used on my hair, now I'm just like, oh my god, yes, it works. Um, but I'm not endorsed by anybody they don't know I exist this is just from personal experience from what I had researched and my experience so yes I got my hair professionally done I did not do this at home on my own but like I said I will give you guys some tips on how of things that I saw during my process that if you cannot afford to go to a professional then um, you guys can kind of use these tips for yourself at home Anyways, um, so yeah, I went to a professional that used Olaplex. Now, I will link the link for Olaplex's website down below. <coughs> and please excuse me, I'm pretty sick, so I don't know how far I can get into this video without coughing. But anyways, um, I will leave it linked down below. And so on that website, they have a uh, salon locator where you can put in your zip code and then they will give you a list of salons that use Olaplex. And I did my due diligence and I went through every single salon. It took me about two weeks to go through every single salon and really did my research on every single one. I looked up customer reviews, looked up photos for those salons, like things that they've done. Trying to find the salon that would best meet what I was wanting. So some like for me, it w I was looking for a salon that wasn't going to be kind of dismissive of my idea um, because some salons can be more like they they don't do unnatural looks like this to so somebody is very unnatural and it looks very strange so I was looking more for a salon that would be I guess more accepting or more willing to do a hairstyle like this um, I know that most everyday women might not want this particular hairstyle, but I'm talking about like lightening your hair, bleaching your hair, stuff like that. So just look for a salon that best needs, best meets your needs. And like I said, do your due diligence, do your research, look up customer reviews, all that stuff because it really does make a difference when you get your hair done. Because I paid a lot of money to get my hair done this way and I didn't just want to go to anybody so that they wouldn't mess up my hair. So now that I got that out, let's talk about the actual process of my hair. So like I said, my hair was pretty dark. I had dyed it within the beginning of the year or so, a very dark natural black, but it's still very, very black. Um, 
so it had been a couple months before I went to the salon and I never retouched it I kind of just let it fade out but it was still on my hair and I had dyed my hair multiple times before that uh, multiple times a year so there was a lot of pigment in my hair and more than anything I have a lot of red pigment in my hair just naturally but I have dyed my hair red so there was even more red which if you guys don't know what that why that's a big deal it can turn your hair brassy if you have a lot of red pigment or if you've dyed your hair red before there's a lot of red pigment in your hair and it could turn it brassy mine was toned twice um to get it to be a little bit ashy which it isn't right now at the moment it isn't so ashy anymore because um it's been about a month since i got it done so i've washed it and the toner washes out and all that stuff but um so the reason why i'm telling you guys that is because that is why I'm telling you guys to go to a professional because if you are just trying to bleach your hair and you have a lot of red pigment or you have um, dyed your hair red before and you're trying to bleach it, you're still going to have that really brassy looking tone to your hair. And honestly, I've never been able to get rid of that brassiness by myself. So that's why I say go to a professional. Now I know professionals are very expensive. So one thing that I will say is that if you have a cosmetology school anywhere near you, you can go in and talk to them about their salon services and they're usually pretty discounted because they are students. Um, but it's better that you go to a salon that of people who are actually knowing what they're doing rather than you doing it yourself. Um, they have instructors there with them that teach them what they're doing. So I don't know, that's just, that's just a little pointer that I, I wanted to give you guys. So I lost my train of thought here because I'm talking so much. I'm trying to give you guys all this information and I'm losing my train of thought. So I'm going to start off with day one when I went into the salon. So I went in thinking that I wanted the Khloe Kardashian hair because I had to go to a family like gathering and they were going to take lots of family pictures and I wanted to kind of make everybody happy in the sense that my family is very conservative so I didn't think that they would really accept my hair this way. So, um, I was like, you know what, let's do the Khloe Kardashian thing. And so I'm sitting in the salon chair and he's splitting my hair down the middle and all that good stuff. And he starts by starting on one side and he's like, I'm not going to be able to do it all at once. Um, your hair is not going to look like Khloe Kardashian's right off the bat. It's going to take a couple processes because I want to keep the integrity of your hair intact, which if your hairstylist is not telling you that when they're bleaching your hair then you need a different hairstylist because of course you want your hair to still feel like hair and you want your hair to be manageable and for it not to be falling apart by the end of the process so if your hairstylist is not telling you that you need a new hairstylist but anyways so he's like so i don't want to like go in and just bleach all your hair at once and i'm like okay that's cool whatever so he splits my hair down the middle he starts on one side and then i start talking to him and i'm just like you know what i've always wanted Corella DeVille's hair and he's like really I've always wanted to do that to somebody and we're like talking and he's like working on my hair and then I'm like you know what let's just do it let's just do the Corella DeVille's hair because that's what I want let's be honest my family knows I'm weird like let's just do it because I'm paying all this money not to make them happy but to make myself happy so he was just like you know what let's do it so um he went ahead and started bleaching on this side i know corella devils is on the opposite side but honestly it does not make a difference to me i didn't have a particular side that i wanted it on i just knew that i wanted half of it to be blonde so anyways um he went in and he did a very heavy highlight the first time around which if you guys are curious to see what that looks like it's in the last three minutes of the last video that I posted um so you guys don't have to watch the whole video but the last three minutes of that video um I show you guys what my hair looked like so it was very just heavy highlighted on one side I didn't take any pictures of it I don't know why um and then on this side he put like a very deep dark chocolatey brown which I liked and it was a semi-permanent hair color because he's like if you change your mind it's a lot easier to take out than doing a permanent hair color which He's so smart. Anyways, so he's like, okay, so we're going to set your appointment for two weeks from now to do um, a second heavy highlight. Or if not, if your hair is lightened enough, then we can just go ahead and do it all at once. 
So I was like, okay, great. That sounds good. So um, I left the salon. He gave me two little bottles um, of like... I don't know I think they were like hair masks honestly I don't know there was no label on it he didn't tell me what they were he just told me to deep condition my hair with them um two times before my next appointment so I was like okay cool like I'll do that so then a week later um at my job they needed a hair model so I was like I volunteer <laughs> so that person went ahead and did again heavy highlighted heavy highlights on my hair which I regret doing so the way that she highlighted my hair I think ended up messing up the whole process in the end um because she ended up highlighting the same places that he did so there are places in my hair like up here and like back here a lot of this it's like white my hair is white white which I mean I can't really blame her I can't really blame him it was my fault I should have just kept going to the same person doing the same process without changing but whatever it was done so she went ahead and heavy highlighted my hair again and the first time around my hair didn't feel that bad but the second time around my hair started to feel really dry on my blonde side and I was like oh crap like I was trying to avoid this so then I was really scared and I did the deep conditioning that he gave me and it helped a little bit but it wasn't feeling great so then <clears throat> a week after that was my second appointment with him my original hairstylist and I went in he looked at my hair and he's like oh it looks a lot lighter so we're just gonna go ahead and heavy like we're just gonna go ahead and highlight the whole thing now I didn't tell him that I had gotten it lightened before my appointment with him because um I just felt embarrassed I felt like I was cheating on him but whatever we moved on um so he went ahead and he completely put bleach like from root to tip all the way um and he, this time around the first time around he did not use olaplex uh because he said that your hair had to be processed before putting olaplex in your hair i don't know how true that is i don't know anything about hair like i said so but the last time he did use the olaplex and there were parts in my hair like these like darker bits that you guys see here um these hairs had not been lightened whatsoever like there were chunks of my hair that still were not lightened whatsoever so you guys can see just how well olaplex worked taking a color that's like similar to this to this i mean it works you guys can see like this is where the white hair is and then this is what the olaplex did um and then the olaplex did this to the hairs that were highlighted twice now these were mostly like my new like re regrowth um uh, because i like i said i hadn't dyed my hair in so long um and i do have roots now because it's been about a month so don't 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 pay attention to that um but anyways i'm hoping i'm like talking to you guys i'm i'm like so hyped up on drugs right now because i'm so sick that i don't know if i'm making any sense at this point but anyways that was the last time that my hair was highlighted and that was about a month ago and then the last time that um, he highlighted or that he bleached my whole hair, I told him that I wanted to go darker on this side. So he put a blue-black semi-permanent hair color on this side, which didn't end up looking blue-black to me. It just looked like a very dark black. Um, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, so that is where my hair is as of today. Um, this side is bleached with Olaplex after being bleached two times without Olaplex and then this is just semi-permanent hair color on this side and honestly whenever I left the salon that day my hair felt so 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 dry and I was really scared I was like what am I gonna do so again I started doing my research and kind of looking up things that people use whenever they bleach their hair and products that I could use again to bleach my hair and so the following are gonna be the products that I've been using that I feel have worked so well for my hair like my hair feels almost the same on both sides now my stylist told me and other people have told me that my bleach hair will never really feel exactly like this hair on this side because i literally stripped all of my hair from color so you can't expect your hair to feel like your normal hair but it shouldn't feel like it's gummy or like it's falling apart or it's breaking very easy my hair is not breaking at all like at all even when it's wet it still breaks at the same rate that this one would break 
Um, so that's why I'm saying that I 100% back Olaplex because my hair, I literally thought my hair was gonna like be stringy and like spaghetti and my hair does not feel like that. My hair is still really, really, really strong. Like, can you guys hear that? Like my hair is still holding up as good as this side. So I'm very impressed by that. Um, and again, I think it has a lot to do with the person who was doing my hair. Um, I did a lot of research on him and he had done other people's hair. It looked amazing. And so I just trusted him solely. And like I said, I hadn't, I shouldn't have done the second bleaching, but what are you gonna do? So anyways, now we're gonna get into the hair. So first I'm going to talk about shampoo and conditioners. When you get your hair bleached, you want to make sure to use a shampoo and conditioner that's sulfate free. Um, so I bought the Purology um, Hydrate, Hydrate and Hydrate Light Shampoo and Conditioner. These are pretty pricey. I'm not going to lie to you guys, they're about $30 a bottle. They're extremely expensive, but they're totally worth it. Um... <clears throat> The first time that I used these, my hair already felt so much better. Like 10 times, 10 times better. Like 10 times better. So I will continue to use these. The shampoo and conditioners did make a huge difference, but you're still going to want to deep condition your hair. Even if you don't have your hair process, you still want to deep condition your hair every once in a while just to keep your hair feeling healthy and soft and all that good stuff. This, I swear by. If you cannot afford the shampoo and conditioner, um, just make sure to buy something that's sulfate free. It will definitely help your hair out so much. But this, I would say, do not skip on. If you can't afford anything else in this video, just get this. This is the Oblith Oblithica? Oblithica? I don't know how you pronounce this. Um, I'm just going to put it up here for you guys to read for yourselves. Um, so this is the Seaberry Hair Mask, and this is for medium to coarse hair. So I have pretty thick hair, and it's pretty unmanageable, so this is why I got this one. They have a, um, they have a different hair mask for, um, thinner hair. Um, and I just love the box. Can we just talk about this color, though? It's like a metallic-y purple. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Anyways, that's why I haven't thrown away the box, because I just love it. I know, I'm such a hoarder. But anyways, this is a Seaberry hair mask, and this stuff smells phenomenal. This stuff smells so amazing. I don't even know. It's like floral. <sighs> floral and like creamy. I don't, I don't even know how to explain this, but this is what it looks like. And... This is a lot different from other hair masks that I've used. This one is not as thick. It actually is pretty thin like what a regular um, conditioner feels like. But it does wonders. Let me tell you guys. Like it really instantly makes your hair, your hair, what? It instantly makes your hair feel so amazing. Like after one use of this, my hair felt back to normal. Seriously, back to normal back like nothing had ever happened to my hair so this is why I swear by this like if you cannot afford anything else that I'm talking about get this this is amazing and the good thing about this is that let's say you don't have the money to buy the shampoo and conditioner from Pureology and you're going to invest in this you could just seriously buy the um Pureology shampoo and then this you can actually use as a deep conditioner and as a daily conditioner so um, if you want to use it as a daily conditioner, you kind of just put it in your hair every day for not that long. But if you want to use it as a deep conditioner, you leave it on for a lot longer and it does both things. So if you just want to buy the Pureology shampoo and then get deep conditioner instead of the regular conditioner, then I would suggest doing that. Um, but like I said, if you can't afford anything else... I swear by this stuff like seriously like the girl that was helping me like she had luscious beautiful hair and she's like honestly if you're not gonna get anything else get this and I am so glad that I listened to her I got these products at Ulta um the hair mask is I think $38 so like I said it is a heavy penny but oh my god it is so good you will not regret purchasing this
So now I'm going to talk about some um, leave-in conditioners. So first and foremost, it's this, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin, which if you do bleach your hair, your hair is going to need keratin and protein. So it's really important that you buy stuff that has keratin and protein in it. Um, you don't want to overdo it, so you don't want to put keratin in your hair like very often and you don't want to put protein in your hair too much either. You kind of just want to balance each of them out but this I find that it's okay if I just spray it in my hair every single day um, like once I shower so I don't spray it in my hair every single day I spray it every time I wash my hair so like I said this is the it's a 10 miracle leave-in plus keratin and this serves so many purposes but more than anything it really adds that keratin back into your hair and it makes it very smooth and very um, easy to brush so there's no tangles in it it smells amazing it smells so 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 good um, and it just really like I can tell a difference when I don't use this than when I do use it like it makes my hair just a lot more manageable and it makes it really soft so now I just have one last leave-in treatment thing that I like to put in my hair and this is the infusium 23 moisture replenish leave-in smoothing cream this stuff is amazing um, it helps tame my flyaways it makes my hair feel really hydrated and it makes my hair just really manageable I've really notice a huge difference in my hair I asked my boyfriend to touch my hair yesterday and he's like your hair feels like your normal hair so really soft and all that good stuff which hello that's amazing and then lastly this is just something that I kind of quickly wanted to mention because I feel like it really does help my hair uh, be protected from all the heat because I can't use as much heat on my blonde side because it will affect my hair so I have to use a lot a lot less heat than I do on this side so um the one thing that I've been absolutely loving is the 450 blowout heat defense blowout spray and this is by sexy hair and honestly I think I got this in a glam bag or something like that but I love this stuff it helps my hair dry so much faster it makes my hair shiny it smells amazing it helps detangle my hair it just helps so much and it also protects my hair from um, the styling tools that I put in it and all that good stuff so I just love this spray if you guys can afford I think this is a little bit more affordable as well if you guys can afford to buy this I would say get this as well because this protects your hair and makes your hair so much smoother and it does so many good things so I definitely recommend it so now getting down to the nitty-gritty if you're doing this at home here are some things that I think you guys should keep in mind while doing this at home. Um, if you've dyed your hair before, I would say before you even try bleaching it, try doing a color remover. You can get color removers just about anywhere. I think Walmart sells them, CVS, Walgreens, Sally Hansen, no not Sally Hansen, Sally's Beauty Supply, all those places sell color removers. So that just strips away the last color that you have in your hair or the colors that you have in your hair, the unnatural colors that you have in your hair. And if you've never dyed your hair before then you don't have to worry about that. Um, this is That only applies to people who have dyed their hair before. I would suggest color removing first because that will help the bleaching process one two you don't damage your hair as much because the bleach would have to fight through the pigment that you've put on your hair plus the pigment that you were naturally born with so that just takes one of the steps away which he did not do on my hair but like I said this is something that I would suggest to you if you're doing it at home um, if you have like I said um, naturally virgin hair then you don't have to worry about that you would just go ahead and straight up bleach it um <clears throat> now tips that I have on bleaching your hair I would do it the way that he did it so the way that he did it like I said was highlighting my hair so he went in and he did heavy highlights once and then he waited two weeks so that's what I would say to do is heavy highlight your hair or have someone really put some really big highlights in your hair it might look a little bit ugly but the finished product will look good I think I don't know this is why I tell you guys to go to professional but if if you can manage to do highlights on your hair I would say start off that way so that your hair can gradually get lighter instead of going in and bleaching out all at once and risking more damage to your hair than necessary um so that is one of the things that I would really, really recommend. And lastly, I would really, really recommend that you do your research on 
what you are doing. I cannot stress that enough that doing your own research and finding out what would work best for your hair is going to help you so much in the long run. Like you guys don't even know how many countless videos of bleaching tutorials that I've watched on YouTube and articles that I've read like professional articles on bleaching hair and all that stuff because I just knew that I personally did not want to lose my hair at the end of the bleaching process. So you cannot do enough research, let me tell you, on bleaching your hair if that is what you want. So anyways, I rambled on forever and ever and ever and I'm so tired and I still have to film another video after this. So um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any further questions, please make sure to leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you. Um, so yeah, but hopefully I think I answered everything. Hopefully. I don't know. I've talked forever now, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Bye!